Good day everyone, my name is Steven from Group 2 and today I will be discussing about how to compose and fill in a patient care plan. So basically there are steps you need to follow in order to achieve this and this is done to make sure that your patient is recovered, is recovering fully. So first of all you need to assess your patient, you need to write a care plan and see how your patient's medical history is, his diagnosis, the lab values and the medications he's been on. And this step is very important because it's an effective way to find out about the background about this patient and to see whether he needs a short-term or a long-term care. Secondly, you need to make diagnosis about the patient. You need to see the person's patient's response to an illness rather than the illness itself and see whether the patient is focused on care rather than treatment. Thirdly, you need to set goals and outcome. So in this stage, you need to um, be specific about the goals you need to be intent on achieving with this patient and to realize short term or long term and these goals are documented in the patient's care plan so that other nurses and also other health professionals caring for the patient can also have access to it and also fourthly you need to determine the nursing interventions at this point in the care plan you will list all the nursing interventions and the documentation that you've performed you write it down all of these things, the um, patient's response to care, his pain skills, his medications, his doses and his vital signs, and how he communicates with the nursing others. And then finally, you evaluate the plan. So evaluation is very important and it's very necessary in a patient's care plan because the plan to determine whether to continue, adjust, or terminate the plan of care. So it can measure the degree to which these goals and outcomes are achieved and provide um, evidence for what factors positively or negatively impact this 